Welcome to Vinyasa Yoga for Strength. I'm Pumi and I upload new yoga sessions every Sunday. So do subscribe if you want to start yoga or to build a yoga practice. And comment on what type of yoga videos you would like to see in the future. It's quite cold outside so we'll go straight to the warm-ups. Please remember to move with your breath. One breath, one movement. We'll start in all fours. Inhale. Exhale, tuck in your toes, lift up your hips to downward facing dog. Then from here, you will take a big inhale and exhale, shift your weight forward to a high plank. Check in to make sure your body is in a straight line, core is engaged, hips not too high or too low. Push the ground away with your hands. Inhale, lift up your hips back to downward facing dog. Exhale to high plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale to high plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, plank. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale exhale last one inhale exhale knees down hips to your heels and rest in child's pose slow down your breath by lengthening your exhales for five four three two one keeping the knees down shift your weights forward into a push-up position Core engaged, shoulders stacked on top of your wrist. Big inhale. Exhale, lower yourself down, elbows glued to your rib cage. Exhale, lifting all the way up. Inhale, halfway down. Exhale, up. Inhale, halfway down. Exhale, up. Last inhale. Exhale, lift your knees off the ground to a high plank. Shift your weight to the left side. Place your left knee down, lift up your right arm towards the sky into a modified side plank. Inhale, exhale, change sides, return to high plank. Then place the right knee down, lifting up the left arm up to the sky into a modified side plank. Inhale, exhale, come back to neutral and we'll change sides again. Maybe this time come to a full plank by stacking your feet together. Inhale. Exhale, placing your right hand down and swapping sides to a full plank or modified plank on the other side. Inhale. Exhale, coming all the way down, back to high plank. Bring your knees down, hips back to child's pose. Let your hands reach for your feet to relieve tension from your shoulders. And we'll stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Next inhale, reach your arms forward, tuck in your toes and lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Slowly walk your feet to the top of the mat and fold knees nice and soft. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to mountain pose, arms reaching up. Exhale, let your hips sink down to chair pose, lifting up as much as you're sitting down. Inhale, twist to your right, let your arms open wide. Your legs engaged take a deep inhale as you exhale bring your arms all the way up back to mountain pose exhale arms to your side inhale arms lifting up exhale sink your hips down to chair pose inhale exhale twist to your left side arms open wide big inhale and as you exhale bring your arms forward Inhale, lifting up mountain pose. Exhale, arms to your sides. 
Standing nice and strong will begin today's flow. Big inhale, arms lifting up. Exhale, float all the way down and fold. Step your feet back to downward facing dog. Feet a hip width apart. Inhale, right leg goes up. Hips are squared. Exhale, step forward between your hands to a low lunge. Spin your back heel down. Inhale, arms reaching up to warrior one. Check that your hips are squared facing forward. You may bring the left leg a few centimeters forward. Keep your tailbone tucked in, your core engaged, and you should feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh. Pay attention to your breath. Keep it nice, deep, and full. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, come to warrior two. Arms open wide, stretching towards opposite directions. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Gaze towards your right fingers. Remember to bring your legs a bit closer to make this pose more comfortable for you. Relax the muscles around your face. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, place your right hand on your right thigh. Left hand reaching up to the sky into reverse warrior. Right knee stays bent. Breathing deep and full. Inhale. Exhale, placing the right elbow on the right knee. Reaching all the way up with the left hand. Keep your body lifting up. Your chest is open. Inhale. Exhale, left hand reaching back. Come up to warrior two. Bring your hands forward, lifting up your heel. Hands down. Step all the way back to downward facing dog. Gently pedal out your feet. We'll do the same flow on the same side. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, step it between your hands. Spin your back heel down. Inhale, arms reaching up to warrior one. Hips facing forward. Take five deep breaths. Shoulders relaxed. Gaze soft. Inhale. Exhale. Turn to warrior two. Five deep breaths here. Tailbone tucked in. Core is engaged. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching up to reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, right elbow to right knee, lifting all the way up to extended side angle. You should feel a deep stretch on your side. Inhale, exhale, back to warrior two, bring your arms forward, lift your heel off the mat, palms come down to low lunge, and then back to down facing dog, gently pedaling out your feet. Whenever you're ready, you can place your knees down, hips back to child's pose. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, tuck in your toes. Exhale, lift your hips up back to downward facing dog. This time, left leg goes up, toes pointing down. Exhale, step it between your hands to low lunge. Spin your back heel down. Inhale, lift up your arms to the sky to warrior one. Check in on your hips, tuck in your tailbone. Gaze forward and soft. Inhale, exhale to warrior two. Your arms are strong. Your fingertips reaching towards opposite directions and your shoulders relaxed. 
inhale exhale come to reverse warrior right hand on the right thigh left hand reaching all the way up inhale exhale left elbow to left knee right arm dials up and back to extended side angle keep your body lifting up so you're not crunching all the way down inhale exhale reach back to warrior two arms coming forward lift your heel off the mats place your arms down and step back to downward facing dog continue to pedal out your feet as we get ready for our last flow inhale left leg goes up exhale step it between your hands spin your back heel down inhale lift your arms up warrior one inhale exhale come to warrior two arms and your legs are strong but your gaze is soft inhale exhale reverse warrior left arm reaching up lifting your entire body inhale exhale left elbow to left knee dial up your right arm you should feel a deep stretch on your side in reverse side angle return to warrior two bring your arms forward lift up your heel from the mat place your palms down step back to your last downward facing dog pedal out to your feet take a big inhale and as you exhale place your knees down chest and chin down inhale lift your chest up to cobra shoulders down away from your ears Exhale, tuck in your toes, lift your hips up back to your last downward facing dog for real this time and gently walk your feet to the top of your mat. Fold deeply here, soften the knees, grab the opposite elbow and sway from side to side, keeping your neck relaxed. You will feel your hamstrings opening up for you here. Deep inhale, roll all the way up to stand, arms reaching up, open your feet as wide as the mat, palms together and come all the way down to a yogi squat, push your knees away with your elbows, gaze forward, bring your hands back to catch you lie down on your back grab your knees bring them to your chest and give yourself a hug and bring your legs all the way down as your body melts into shavasana let your breath become deep smooth and effortless bring your mind and your body to complete stillness and stay here in silence and whenever you're ready give yourself a big hug namaste